Nobody is 100% sure about the origins of Greek drama. We might often think of Aristotle's poetics, but actually, this was written 200 years after plays were already happening. Between 510 BC and 350 BC, we have the big four playwrights, including Sophocles and Euripides, and in 534 BC, we had Thespis, the first known actor. Greek plays were mainly comedy or tragedy and revolved around the actor, the storyteller, or the chorus, which was quite ritualistic and embedded in dance and movement, often deriving from the need to celebrate a god. The director comes at play because the director could decide what to put at the centre of his production. For example, Antigone is a play about the individual versus the state, but in Sophocles, choruses were highly individualised and multi-rolling as an option. The audience can um, have commentary on what is going on provided by the chorus, who often can have individual line allocation. Also, Antigone, even if it's about a heroine, would be an all-male production originally. A actors wore masks made of wood, which had the functions of covering the true identity of the player, which would be known, and also increasing the expressiveness and making it easier to play a stock state. This is because often theatres were built at the bottom of a hillside and a lot of projection would have been required, and that way the audience could see the facial expression more clearly and actors could change masks to play different characters.